it's times like these where I feel the need to just quickly recap the situation that I find myself in. Like, myself, my possessed hillbilly uncle, and our employee, the mechanic chicken, have found ourselves hunting through a hillbilly love den for a severed deer head covered in panties. I've done a lot of weird stuff on this YouTube channel, but I don't see how it could get any weirder. Is that a dancing alien? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Barn Finders, a game where I finally get to run my very own hillbilly pawn shop. Now, I've always dreamed about having a place where people can go if they're in the market for a couple of lightly used teeth, or they're running low on confederate flags, or maybe they're considering starting a family with their cousin, it doesn't matter, we're gonna have a little something for everybody. Somewhere in America, 1991. Listen, we don't need your fancy book learning to know how to spell America. They always say, there's no I in team, and what's America if not the world's greatest team? Wake up, youngin', our generator is down. Oh my god, I get to make an entire video talking like this. Get a battery from our truck and fix it. Alright, I'm your soiled, saggy tits, Uncle Billy. Let's work awful hard, our vacation waits. How did you get in my shack? Uh... Am I being haunted by the ghost of Uncle Billy? <laughs> That's mildly concerning. Yes, I figured out how to move. Okay, what I need to be told is whether or not I should call Duracell or an exorcist. <laughs> we need to get a battery. We need to put it in the generator. We need to use that fancy magic box to send an electronic mail to a priest. Please tell me you're real, Uncle Billy. I'm so tired of all the delusions. <laughs> I think that's really him. He's just really good at breaking into places. He's always been a uh, great moral support. If the generator isn't working right now, how are the neon signs still turned on? <gasps> Uncle Billy, are you hiding something from me? You are clearly hiding something from me. You want me to mess around with those backwoods electronics and fry myself again so that... <laughs> You get 100% ownership of the store. Fine, fine. You know what? I'm going. Whatever. I won't ask questions, but I gotta say, the place is looking a little rough. Okay, I figured we were gonna have to work it up. I mean, it doesn't quite look like an operational pawn shop quite yet. It looks more like a beaver dam that got hit by a hurricane full of Americana. But I didn't expect us to have a basketball net. Especially one this fancy. Right? This isn't basketball country. This is NASCAR country, which is exactly why we have a garage. Maybe we can work our way up to getting into the automotive business? Oh yeah, we got a repair station that we can build? An assembly station? We've already got a resident mechanic, Ms. Mother Clucker. She really knows her way around both the hoop and a truck. Uncle B69. Uncle B69 and what? Remind me to ask Uncle Billy why every poster around here is a big, topless, muscly dude. Like, don't get me wrong, whatever floats your boat, I I'm perfectly okay with that, but I'm just saying, like, it might not be the clientele that we're gonna be able to sell things to around here. We need people with lots of closet room. It doesn't really work if they're all hiding in it. I think it said that there should be a battery in here somewhere? Uh... Not seeing a battery. Oh, there it is. Just hidden in the back of my magic truck. I love the fact that everything around here is labeled with a nice big neon sign. Like, we're in the middle of the woods and you're gonna be able to see this place from space. <laughs> this is where we store all of our toilet paper. This is where we shit. That's where we wipe. And this is the generator. I should be able to just pop you in there. I apparently have rooster mail. Interesting. I would assume that that is probably in the old magic box. Okay, then. <gasps> wow. I really got to tell Billy to use that cleaning station more thoroughly before he touches the computer. <laughs> oh, come on. Mike Cornholer. Oh, you got to be kidding me. A naughty stag for a friend? Oh, am I getting invited to a stag? Party? No, of course not. I need to go find a stuffed stag covered in bronze. 
<laughs> my, my hopes just went from here to here. Hello, barn finders. Can you help an old friend? So I heard there's still a naughty stag at the old red barn. The red barn? Could you be a little more specific, maybe? <laughs> maybe you could find it there for you. There's money in it if you do. Thanks, Mick. All right, I guess. Screw yourself, Mick. I gotta say, the place isn't quite as bad as I would have expected. Like, we've already got quite a bit of decor. Took a long friggin' time camping out in front of gas stations to steal all these. <laughs> but overall, you know, we got a couple of shelves in here, maybe a couple of displays. We would totally be in business. We could even diversify, you know, maybe get like some mannequins in the corner, big hats so that they can keep the sun off of everybody's red necks. <laughs> Where exactly am I gonna find Red Barn? Uncle Billy, do you want me to get you some sunscreen or something? You look like you're gonna bake like a potato out here. <laughs> no, stop wiggling my nuts, okay? We've been over this, it's not appropriate anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot get over the jokes I can make in this game. I, I can't even get my truck out. There's all this crap in the way. What? Oh. Oh, okay. No, I, I can move some stuff. But other things I can sell? Who's buying our garbage? Weird. Okay. So now can I hop in the old barn finder mobile and head out? Billy, I'm really confused and you're not helping. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops. Screw it. I regret my decision. I would have an easier time selling snow to an Eskimo than sinking a basket out here. Screw it. Maybe we could just leave through the front gate? No? Security is on high. I gotta say, Uncle Billy's doing something right. As if anybody is gonna steal anything from here. We've got $9 to our name and the whole store looks like it's caked in poop. I just don't know how to get there. Maybe I need to travel via the computer? That can't be a thing, right? Can the internet do that? I have no idea. <gasps> or maybe it's this thing. I just assumed this was an ATM. Oh, interesting. Okay, we can get a upgrade gun, a light, an ax, a shovel, like that. I was really hoping we'd have enough garbage lying around so that I could buy something now before we go, but I'm not seeing anything. I don't suppose I could sell you, could I? We don't really need a mechanic right now. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Billy. Still number one chicken chaser. I wonder if I can just set you down in here. Okay, your your job is going to be to just, just, okay, hold on. No, I just, it's real difficult to set chickens down. There we go. You okay? She's just sleeping. I did not consider going to barnhub.com. I just kind of figured that was gonna be like an 18 plus kind of site. The kind of thing that you would visit after Uncle Billy goes to bed. Oh, here we go. There's the Red Barn. Dwayne's Red Barn was a legendary spot among the Americans, a place full of joy and excitement. Now it is just an abandoned place in the middle of Georgina State. Barn location 1132 Oak Mound Road, Georgina. We can travel there because we got a full tank of gas. Oh yeah, I've got a good feeling about this. <laughs> We're gonna find some top quality crap in here to sell in our store. Just you wait. Uh, Listen, I'm happy to see that Mother Clucker is doing well, don't get me wrong, but should she have really come with us? Like, Billy, I know you technically built a wall around the entire place, but she should be on guard. We don't have much other use for a mechanic chicken right now. God forbid you actually earned your keep, you little freeloader. Again, I love her to death, but at the same time, you gotta draw a line somewhere. Uncle Bill, you're a pushover. Hey, uh, telling you. Oh, hey, that famous red barn, let's explore around. and takes all the stuff. Let me guess, you're gonna sit on the truck the whole time. You two are meant for one another. Was old Mr. Dwayne missing an eye or something? Why is this so lopsided? The door isn't directly underneath the window. It's driving me crazy. Actually, I don't really want to start in there. I want to look around first. If there's valuable garbage on my lot, then who knows if I can do something about this. Do, do we want this? <laughs> this rusty barrel of lube? Oh, it's Dwayne's love den, I forgot. I really don't want to be touching much, do I? 
<laughs> is this worth anything? No, that's trash. I'm bad at this, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Hey, a bundle of sticks. Is, is that worth anything? I'm just gonna bring a bunch of stuff out here and, and kind of lay it there. We'll figure it out. You guys can be the ones to kind of determine value. I'm just gonna be the hunter-gatherer of the group. That being said, I do know a thing or two about a thing or two. And when it comes to wheelbarrows full of cow shit, I know a collectible when I see it. <laughs> so we're gonna mark you for pickup, and then maybe one of the two freeloaders will get it. Yeah, that was Uncle Billy. He does that. I'm, I'm still really concerned about that whole exorcism thing, but <laughs> we just kind of ignore it every now and then. Do we need a new piss bucket? I'm gonna take the piss bucket. It's times like these where I feel the need to just quickly recap the situation that I find myself in. Like myself, my possessed hillbilly uncle, and our employee, the mechanic chicken, have found ourselves hunting through a hillbilly love den for a severed deer head covered in panties. I've done a lot of weird stuff on this YouTube channel, but I don't see how it could get any weirder. Is that a dancing alien? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could get back here and find more weird stuff, but I didn't think that was the weird stuff I would find. Excuse me? Are you Dwayne? Oh my god, it's seriously pissing me off that we bought a basketball hoop and I still don't have enough hops to get over a knee-high fence. Don't move! I'm gonna try to get through the barn so that I can actually get to you. This is gonna be- we could sell him. We could put him in there as some kind of show. You're gonna be second potatoes once we manage to get this pulled off. Ew. Uh, might take my time walking through this. I don't know if that's a bunch of spider webs or some really old jism hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Ooh, stuff to sell, valuable trash. All right. Getting money. Just gonna keep chucking everything out here. More valuable trash, some DVDs. A couple of cans of partially drinked beer. Books. <laughs> Nobody's gonna buy books around here. Are you kidding yourself? I found some rope. Uh, maybe that'll come in handy with the alien. <laughs> Who knows? More valuable trash. This is going really well. There's a bunch of stuff blocking the way. Maybe I can, uh... Give it, give it a chuck with something like, eh, there we go. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. watch the chicken. <laughs> Last thing we need now is for our mechanic to turn into tendies. What is this? Is that Dwayne? That's a little more concerning than the alien in the backyard. <laughs> okay, weird, ooh, gold key. That seems super important. I'm just assuming they're gonna hide stuff behind other stuff, so I'm gonna keep tossing all of the random garbage out here so that we can really get a good look around. <gasps> Who knows, maybe I can actually sell the barn. Oh, we're probably not gonna include the soiled floor mattresses, though. Do I wanna pick that up? Oh, I sold it. Wow, people are real desperate around here. Is this an ashtray? Oh my god. <laughs> It definitely looks like there's a back door, and I'm willing to bet that this gold key is gonna be able to get us through it. So we should be able to reach that alien. As soon as I finish doing my job. We are first here to make money, and then friends. God knows I could use some friends. <laughs> Those two are about as useful as tits on a bull. What do we have here? Oh, gas. Okay, so we're gonna come out net positive. Ooh, this is a collectible. Roy's chair. I don't know who Roy is, but you can come pick this up, right? Just go ahead and use your weird nightcrawler powers. Ooh, another one, okay. A little TV, someone will buy that in a jiffy. It's a pawn shop without a crappy television, right? <laughs> Valuable trash, this out of here. Go, go on now, I can throw stuff, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna crush the chicken. <laughs> Random junk, get this out of here. Nothing in it, is there? I don't think so. More pictures. Oh yeah, interesting. That is the barn. Doesn't quite look like the guy with the knife, but interesting all the same. Uh, more valuable trash, yeah, there you go. See, you gotta pay attention. Little tiny things all over the place, it all adds up. We need whatever we can get in this store. 
Even if it's empty beer bottles. <laughs> Was that... I think that might have been the gold key. Interesting. What exactly were they trying to keep out, I wonder? <laughs> There's, uh... Weird blue fire back here as well. Concerning, to say the least. Is he gone? Nope, he's still- Oh my god, he's terrifying! <laughs> <laughs> he's got weird human nipples, but he's also got a human-shaped bum head. Oh my god. You are gonna make the best attraction ever. Now that is some top-shelf taxidermy. Look at that expression. Sunny Cat is definitely gonna be coming with us. I want to take like two big steps back before that one poops. Definitely don't want to breathe any of that in. Is that a motorcycle? Jamaha body? Okay, we could build an entire motorcycle. That would be pretty valuable. That might be what the whole repair and mechanic station is for, actually. Found one piece. Keep an eye for any other pieces. Not gonna be able to move all of this stuff. I can't get it all outside. Is he still there? He's still there. Okay, good. Is that human skulls? Uh, that, oh, that, that's, that's, I can't, I, I don't want to touch it, apparently. That one's still got flesh on it. Come here, you. Come on. Come on. Yep. There we go. Yup. That is concerning, especially because it's moving on its own. <laughs> Don't like that at all. But I'm not seeing any kind of panty deer. What? Oh, here we go. Where did that- Ooh! You see, these are the kind of posters that we need around this place. I am thirsty! <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely gonna put that one probably in our personal quarters. Oh! I'm willing to bet that he hides all the good stuff in the attic. <laughs> yes! There we go! Yeah! There you are. Naughty stag. You are... Truly monstrous. <laughs> Look at all the underwear on it. Amazing. Do I, uh... It's worth 300 bucks? It's only one buck, technically. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll have somebody come along and pick you up. I wonder what happened to the back half of this. Yeah, yeah, I did it. There's still a bunch of collectibles left, though. You best not leave without me. God knows we're gonna find something else valuable around here. Like a lightly used love doll. <laughs> Please tell me we- Oh no, Shirley is collectible. <laughs> it's fine, okay? We can hose around. <laughs> oh, this is my game of the year. I'm pretty sure we found everything that might be valuable or, or disgusting in this barn. <laughs> Which means we have just one treasure left to acquire. Treasure of friendship. <laughs> Please don't go anywhere. Can I, like, sneak up on him? Wait, what if I just do... Don't disappear. Do, do, no, 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 come on! What? He's just a little shy, I guess. <gasps> what is that? Usable object. I don't think I really want to use that. An alien was dancing around it, and it's sparkling. Maybe I'll take a look around first, because I think there was... Yeah, a couple more things for me to sell. I think we saw... Something... Yeah, more taxidermy. Oh, it's the high five, wolf! <laughs> I love it! He's gonna take a second or two to get out of here, but he'll be well worth it. Okay, good. Probably more around here, I would imagine. It might be just that, but... Don't want to miss anything. Wait, could I have gone around? Are you kidding me? I could have went around the other- Oh my god! <laughs> Why am I so stupid? <laughs> it's because I've been talking like this. It's starting to get to me. Alright, fine. Drink the mystery moonshine. I was joking. I didn't actually want you to drink it. Uh... Okay... What?
Huh. Delirium? Poster added to the collection. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I was hearing a bunch of mouse squeaks, but that doesn't really answer my question. I've completely turned this place upside down and I cannot figure out what other collectibles I'm missing. I managed to build my way up onto the roof and found some golden toilet paper up there. I don't really know how that works. <laughs> Imagine it would sell at a premium in today's economy, but I still just don't get it. I don't think I could take the light bulbs or anything, so... I think we might be at a loss. This is probably as good as it's gonna get, unless you've got anything to say. Should I just pack her up and we'll get going? <laughs> yeah, the truck is getting pretty full. Interesting. The human specimen shows great potential. What? I will spawn random earth objects continuing the experiment. Could burn finders be the ones to save us? <laughs> Excuse me? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Burn Finders, guys. This might just be the demo, but there is more to it. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, please support this. I thought this was one of the best videos I've made in a very long time. This game is so cool, and it's so weird. I don't know what's going on with the whole, like, alien side of things, but I really wanna find out. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.